sorry. I'm truly sorry. Oh, it's you, Dandra. Don't worry, I've had shampoo since we last spoke. Right. You're a singer, right? Well, that depends on your taste in music. I'm here about a job. Did you get the job? They told me to come back tomorrow. Yeah, that's what they always say. What's your name anyways? Brown. Sounds like a loaf of bread. Lousy Brown. Sounds like a stale loaf of bread. <laughs> Keep the jokes behind your teeth, wise guy. Uh, pleased to meet you. My name's Bob Dean Clark. Everybody free! <laughs> to bring you an important news flash. Reports are coming in of a gangland incident on the Lower East Side involving a certain Robert Robinson, known to the police as Roxy the Weasel. Robinson was the victim of a sensational event and we go over to a reporter on the spot for a... You were? Sure. Could have been a champion. You could? 
Trevor for a couple of things. Like what? Like uh, Jelly Legs and Last Jewel. <laughs> Some champion. You know, I grew up for a couple of months, but I was about as tough as a ball of cotton. You know, one punch was enough to send me back to the dressing room general and stretch me. My jaw had more glass in it than Macy's window. <laughs> yeah, uh. Then I wised up, you know? Before my face looked like a plate of mashed potatoes. You know, I could have been a contender, Charlie. <laughs> Wondering, I am part of the furniture. Are you eating or are you eating? Uh, no. Um, we'll have two banana spools with a double ice cream and with nuts and with chocolate. Well, uh, two cream apples on the donuts and a coke, two straws. Everyone, get your hands on the yeah. ice. We take a meeting like this. I have to concentrate, Princess. I have a little business to attend to. Lady My Rose, later. Hi boys, okay, okay, relax. Well guys, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking you for your work so far. Everything's gone swell, just swell. Fat Sam must have had quite a shock. Without his gang, he's nothing. Well, it's always been my destiny. I have my future tailor made for me. I'm on a winning streets, so oh, don't try to stop me. Don't try to hold me down and don't try to stop me. There's a high in the sky that belongs to me. I'm the legal owner of the recipe. The upper crust looks up to me. No Thank <laughs> you. 
want us to wait? Come in, honey. You don't be looking a mess, do you? Uh, Mr. Sam, about my audition. Busy? I'm busy. Tomorrow. I promise you, tomorrow. But yesterday is tomorrow, Mr. Sam. Tell Lula to take more time pitying yourself up than there is in the day. Listen, honey, if I didn't look this good, you wouldn't give me the time of day. <sighs> I'll meet you in the car. Knuckles, stop doing that! Sorry, boss, it just slipped up. Night, Susie. Night, Mr. Lula. Theaters in Missouri, Norfolk, Nebraska, and Polar Bluff. 
And for now, I perform for you a trick only seen by the crown heads of Europe. From this hat, I produce not one rabbit, not two rabbits, but three. But, but. No! Yes! Get out! Oh, I wish they'd hurry up. I get nervous waiting. Well, don't worry. I have a look of it this much for all conjurers and magicians. You have no competition. Believe me. I didn't count on this many people being here. How do I look? You look great. I look a wreck. I didn't quite catch that. Right, and he moved into the light. It's really like turning around, Chef. Hey. Flossie Brown, singer. Oh, Oscar! steps I've done have been avoiding the man who collects the rent. So it takes time to be a movie star. Like I said, we could come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow? Come back tomorrow? My whole life I've been coming back tomorrow. I should cool it, will you? I will not cool down. I will not. There's always got Sam's place. He won't see me. I'll talk to him. You know him? Know him? Like that? Real good friends? Not exactly. It's just when I talk to my cross my fingers so that he won't hit me. <laughs> we interrupt our commentary on tonight's exciting Red Sox ball game to bring you a further bulletin on development in the latest outbreak of Hudlam Gang warfare. 
Police now officially state that the new weapon, known as the Swords Run, is being widely used by the mobster gangs. We interrupt our interruption to go straight over to our reporter, Seymour Scoop, who is on the spot for the latest splurging. I'm afraid I can't answer that. You're not at the liberty to say? No. I don't know the answer. <laughs> Can you tell us if the source? Sure. Had on my hamburger for lunch. No, the source of the gods. Oh. I mean... No, I mean... <laughs> You'll have to ask Captain Smolsky for that question. I'm not at the liberty to say.
shaking the dance, nigga. Sorry, boss. And start cracking your knuckles, knuckles. Sorry, boss. Uh, swear I'm surrounded by a bunch of nervous wrecks. All right, let's start from the beginning. We all know who, we all know who's messing with us, don't we? Right, right, right boss. But we're gonna get right back on top, do we? Right back on top, boss. And we're gonna kick that good stuff and we're right back into line. You, you, you right, right, boss. boss. Yes, we might be a little slow and off the mark, but I guess those crunch bump jumps we in. No. no. <laughs> that one, that one, one we did. All right, let's start from the beginning. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on around here. Louis, stand against the wall. Who, me, boss? Are you shake down, Louis? Yes, me. The same shake down Louis he used to be Harvey Splendecker before I gave you the name Shake Down Louis. Sure am boss. Then stand against the wall, porch friend! Ritzy, hand me a pie! A pie? Talk to me, boss! Talk to me! Tell me what I did wrong! Nothing, Louis. Nothing. <laughs> Miss. Alright, Louis. <laughs> you can sit back down now. See if a dumb bump like Louis so quick for us. That's the root of our trouble. We're behind the times. I don't get it, boss. You see, we're never gonna get ahead with this kind of hardware. It's defunct, obsolete. In short, we gotta get ourselves that gun. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Yeah, yeah, start gabbing. I located the gun. Spill sheet, spill! You know the Hung Fu Shin Laundry? Yeah, on East 24th Street? That's it, behind the laundry. Oh, thanks, oh, thanks, Shady. Good news, good boy, good boy. I'll be bringing my boys right over. Good work, Shady. You thanks. earned your money. Thanks, Danny Dan. Sam's boys are in for quite a party. I get out of here. Shoulders, there's one thing I can't abide. It's a two-timing canary. Knuckles, go get it. And 
remember, act as if nothing's wrong. It's the broad about the audition. Come back tomorrow. He's busy. No! Honey, wait, 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 wait. Acting normal means acting normal, right? We'll be right with you, honey. Go make yourself comfortable. Go body your nose or something. Acting normal means acting normal, right? So this gives us a little time to act like we're not scared to death. So I mean, I don't mean scared. I mean concerned. We buy ourselves a little thinking top. Come on, doctors. I'm going to send someone to help with our little predicament. No 10 cent dummy you here. A specialist. A doctor? What? Not a doctor, you Bill Mary. A hoodlum. I thought we was hoodlums. Not a dumb bomb knuckles. This guy's a real McCoy. Looney Bergonzi? The very same office trolling matters that had her Bergonzi. All right, here what we'll do. We'll set up a meeting with Daddy Dad. Bergonzi will be in the back of the car with me. You drive. Right. But I don't drive, boss. You don't drive, you boss! Uh, hello. Is this Daddy Dad's residence? May I speak to himself, please? Nah, nah, fella, who know who I am? Don't worry about it. You don't drive and you call yourself a driver! <sighs> Hello? Oh, hi, Sam. What can I do for you? I want to meet up with you, Dan. Where? 24th Street. Five ways up Luxburg and Denver. You hearing me, Dan? I'm hearing you, Sam, but you come alone. No hood's mine. All right, alone. What does he mean, come alone? He's taking all of my hoods. <laughs> all right, it's just you and me, and I'll drive us. Agreed. Got him, knucklehead? Got him, the salami. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Buzzy. Uh, how we doing? Still practicing? Still practicing. Uh, have you seen Lousy anywhere? She said she was here for an audition. She was here, but she had to get some air. She got tired of waiting. She left her bag, so I guess she's coming back. Alright, thanks. Suddenly everybody wants to be in show business. Oh, hi, Drew. He's busy, Bugsy. How about a drink while you're waiting? Sure, why not? Uh, I'm just back on the rocks. Hi, Buzzy. How about right up, Dottie? Tilly. <laughs> okay, girls. Go feed the ducks. I said feed it! Long time no see, Bugsy. You know how it is. You've been doing what? Well, uh, you know, business. Fizzy! Will you quit the ivories and get the shoe leather? Yes, ma'am. Your races, you know that, Bugsy. I've always <laughs> found you kind of special. Careful, Lily. You're racing my motor. Oh, come on, Bugs. Give a girl a break. You sure you got the right guy? You're not like all those other saps. No. You've got lovely brown eyes. Well, they'll be lovely black eyes if catches up. Come on, sugar. How about smearing my lips? All right, Lily. Close it down. Call my lawyer. So call him. Ready, boss? The broad's ready for audition. Bossy, I've been looking for you everywhere. Close your mouth, jerk. Okay, honey. I'm all ears.
lousy. Oh, what's the matter with you? Look, I can explain all that to Lewis motion. Ah, oh, Buzzy, how would you like to earn yourself some great stuff? As long as you're not talking about catch. What's a catch? No catch, just straight forward driving. No one you, Sam, would be ducking and driving. What's the pay? Two hundred. Cents? No, dollars. Dollars? <clears throat> uh, sounds like dangerous driving. Yeah, yeah, I might get a little rough at times, but you don't get two hundred dollars by driving a milk cart, buddy. Uh, yeah, you got yourself a drive. Good boy, good boy. Now go fetch me a drink. Get this in the free of five, and I'm getting thirsty. Love thirsty. Seen Bussy she won't see you, Bugsy. She's mad. She was holding a torch for you higher than the Statue of Liberty. I right, just tell her I'm sick, will you? You're sick? Yeah, sick of waiting here. I'll see what I can do, but don't count on it. <coughs> Bugs, look, I brought you some flowers. I'll see to Lula get some. Quit being so smart, okay? Good for you. Look, I've got to go. Alright, see you later. Like, ten years later. I've got a job. You don't get paid for standing in front lines, Buster. No, no, a uh, uh, job. With enough money to, for two tickets to the coast to hop. Who knows? They're always looking for new stops. I'll believe it when I see it. Look, lousy truck. Sure. but I really did. And I know, I know, don't trust anyone who says trust me, but I was on a level. <laughs> Honest, I was. But to get those two tickets, first I had to earn the money. I drive Mrs. Sam and Looney. Looney Begonson. Man. When they said he was off his trust, they really weren't kidding. Okay, Buzzy, he's almost here. Do you see? Is he alone? Yep. Looks like just standing there in the drive. Okay, Looney, get ready. Looney? Looney? All right, just stay low and out of sight. Wait for my okay, all right? Hi, Sam. What can I do for you? Just a small dose of straight talk, Dan. Excuse me. You have your liberties, Dan. I've been taking what's mine. The problem is, it belongs to me. Too bad. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Ah, oh, come on, Dan. Let's speak sensibly about this. You and I have been in this game a long time, and I am a businessman. You're a dime a dozen gangster, Sam. You better keep that tongue behind your teeth, mister. I ought to have some sort of respect. You slit your own throat for two bits plus tax. You better keep your wisecracks behind your teeth, mister. Keep talking. I have my position to think of. Your position ain't worth a plug nickel. You dirty rat thing. You've been watching too many movies, Sam. All right, Looney, let him have it! Show that sounds as quick as it does a run!
for you. Give him my love. Hello? Hey, boss. It's Foxy. What are you doing? No, nothing. Listen, I just made myself to look box. Doing what? Oh, listen, man. Who for? That's it. That Sam gave you two hundred dollars? And you want to that, yeah. I don't believe you. You're putting me on. Listen, if you get to take yourself, I sat at the Grand Slam in ten minutes. Look for a nice as a damn little bit good looking driver. Me and Franny has a very close resemblance to yours. Okay. Okay, but you better not be putting me on, Buster. Crap. It's on the level. So long. You got a date, Lassie? Uh, sort of. I'm giving up guys to nothing but trouble, believe me. From now on, I'm looking for husbands and I'm getting to attach. I'm treating him regularly like a library book. Hey, don't you think I look cute? Why do you think of this dress, Tilly? I don't know, it's... Oh, come on. What about you, Donnie? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe the color's wrong. <laughs> what are you talking about? Purple's my color. I always wear purple. Yeah, it matches the veins in your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the length. <laughs> what are you talking about? I read it in a magazine. It's the latest length. Maybe it's the frills. They stick out too much. They match your ears. <laughs> you think it'll be better on you? You look better on a horse. <laughs> You're just jealous. Can't help it if my looks are ahead of my time. They're what? They're full of personality. Character. Kinda earthy. Yeah, like a bucket of mud. <laughs> Do you really have two hundred dollars? No. Oh yeah, you lied. No, I have one hundred ninety-eight thousand ten cents. You didn't do anything crooked, did you? No, of course not. I just got it for helping Mrs. Sam out of a little bit thicker. And right. Oh, I nailed the car. What's this? A finger bowl? No, a present, price. For me? Well, I didn't buy it for the audience. <laughs> Oh, Foxy, it's wonderful. Fantastic. What is it? A view of dummy. Look, I get down the handle, you can see all the Hollywood stars. Oh, if only I could get to Hollywood. You can. No, really, get to Hollywood. Sure, I've heard that one before. On the front row of the Roxy on East 38th Street. No, 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 you can really get to Hollywood. Think about it, boss. Do you want me to leave? No, don't you push me. Keep talking. All right, so I've got $598 and 10 cents left, right? What does that buy? 440 hot dogs. No, two tickets, stupid. Two tickets? On the super cheap. The super cheap? The train dummy. The Hollywood. Think about it. Foot, Captain? Not my 
work. It looks like a sponge cup. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Sure, of course, boss. Anything that anything Danny Dan can do, fat Sam can do better. All right, are you ready? I'm ready, boss. Set. I'm set, boss.
gone, boss. They got still. They had access and chopped away the barrels. It's all gone. Drained away. Every last drop. All right, Pickett. I need to get round here right away. I, I can't, boss. I'm all tied up. I don't care how busy you are, Pickett. Get round here right away. Oh, no. Not the grocery rack in. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm sure you're going to do all that you could. Go home and get washed up. That's my whole empire gone, Tulula. Everything. And soon he'll be coming for here next. Who? The Lone Ranger? No, you dumb Dora Foxy Malone. Carla, I'm in trouble, deep trouble, and all I have for company is a female comedian. No answer. All right. I need you to go ask for him, for me personally. Personally? Personally. <laughs> personally. So long, lover boy. Hi, Bugsy. Bugsy. I like my men at my feet. What are you doing here, Tamula? Put your flaps down, Tiger, or else you'll take off. I've got a message for you. So what's wrong with Wesley Mimi? Don't flatter yourself, Tiger. It's Sam who wants to see you, not me. So come on, let's go before that suspended belt strangles you. I, I can't. I'm waiting for some. You were? Yeah. I thought that was We're going to hug. Oh, well, you know what they say. Don't pack anything you can't put on the train home. Sam's in trouble, Bugsy, and I'm sure he'll see you're okay. Die right there. Busy, quit whistling, will ya? And make it to me, I Do Joe, boss. Joe? Yes, boss? Fetch me a drink, will ya? Double on the rocks. Sure thing, boss. So, what's so funny? You found me amusing? No, boss. I was not laughing at you. Promise I wasn't. You found my suit comical, perhaps. No, boss. It's just your flower. Ah, my flower. It's a little droopy, ain't it? Yes, boss. A little. In fact, very droopy. Yes, boss. Very droopy. All right, Joe. Hold this for me, will ya? It needs a little water. Now don't let me see you laughing at me again. I'm the top dog, number one man. Always have been, always will be. Oh, God. Careful, boss. The, the flow's wet. You stupid brat! I got a freak up on your own! How, boss? I am doing, huh? Ah, five minutes is set up. And you? the moment, but I'll say, very good, please, call me Sam, why don't you pull up a chair? Tell me about honey, fix him a drink, will ya? What's your pleasure, Bugsy? Oh, uh, Step on the rock. Bugsy, I need your help. Danny Dad's been breathing down my neck, and soon he'll go taking over my entire organization. But you still don't have it. Not if Danny Dad gets his way, I will have enough for you, Sean. Nothing? Not a red cent. There we go. One special on the rocks. So, little honey, will you go fix it? I've already fixed it. Then will you go make yourself more beautiful than you are now? But you know that's impossible. So, okay, okay. I'll go manicure my gloves. Wait, see? My gang's gone. My friends don't want to know me. Business ain't worth the hell of beans. In short, Bugsy, I need you. Me, sir? Why me? Because you have brains up here, not pretzels. No, uh, rough stuff ain't my mind. Help me, I'll give you $200 to go with the 200 I already gave you. Impossible. I thought you were smart. No, impossible, because I already lost the first 200 You lost $200 on a horse? No, I was smart. Tut tut, Bugsy. Too many dishonest people these days. A who made safe walking around these streets? All right, here's $200. Plus the $200 you already lost. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> so we got ourselves a deal? Yeah, we got a deal. Hello? Is 
Bugsy there, please? Yeah, sure, I'll get it for you, honey. Bugsy, it's for you, it's blousey. Excuse me, it's him. Yeah, yeah, Bugsy, take it in my office. Go home, go Europe, go everywhere, because if any day gets away, he'll be paying the phone bills. <laughs> Hello? Bugsy, is that you? What are you doing? You said 8.30 and you're an hour late. I know, but something's come up. Like what? Like business. Oh yeah, with Tallulah? Not with Tallulah, Bicey. Well, did you get the tickets? No, I told you. <coughs> something's come up. You promised me, Bugsy, you promised me. I know, but this is business, it can't wait. Hollywood can't. For an hour I've been waiting here, Bugsy. And when first you didn't show, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. But then I got nervous and called every pool hall dive in the book. They hadn't seen you, but boy did they all know you. Get off the wall. You rat! You too tiny bug! You Irish meatball wop!
What do you want? Leroy, it's me, Bugs. Uh, get up and get dressed. Got me a crack at the title already? Well, no. It's a different kind of job. I'm tired, Bugs. Come back in the morning. No, 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 it's too late in the morning. Well, uh, you're working with Fat Sands the Kettle. Getting Dan and Dan work puts. Yeah, uh, let's do it, Dalton. I'll do it! <laughs>
Get baby face. Uh, is anyone out there called baby face? <laughs> Give us the baby face. Um, no thanks. No, baby face. Get out. Okay. Courage. I've got to have courage. I'm the star of this play right now. Just think. The star of British International School of Houston. Okay. Courage. Geronimo! Music, right, Matthias? Hit the items. 